There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued, and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring new discoveries from deep under volcanoes to man-made cosmic disruptions and new discoveries found in our very own galaxy with three fascinating finds. Huge Lake discovered 15 kilometers under a volcano. In an international effort comprised of scientists from Bristol, Germany, France, Canada and Wales, a huge body of water has been discovered 15 kilometers under an inactive volcano in Bolivia. Like Lake Superior, the water found was mixed with partially dissolved molten rock at a staggering temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius. Researchers part of the group who discovered the lake describe how the Bolivian Altiplano is an area rich in volcanic history, spanning 10 million years. However, currently all volcanoes in the vicinity are dormant, making them safe to explore. The inquiry into what lay beneath this volcano's surface came after discovering that the Altiplano region of Peru sits above a geophysical anomaly 16 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Further analysis showed that this anomaly has a volume of approximately 1.5 million cubic kilometers and characteristics such as reduced seismic activity but also higher speeds and frequencies of electrical conductivity. As such, scientists were led to believe that molten rock could be a mass below the volcano. After discovering that this was indeed the case in 2016, they also think this could be a phenomenon existing under other volcanoes too. If they are right, in finding these hidden lakes, it would help further inform them of how and why volcanoes erupt. More details on this discovery reveal that the rocks found are not fully molten, but only partially, with a liquid ratio of about 10 to 20% of the whole rock. After performing intensive high pressure and temperature experiments, they then found that there must be 8 to 10% of water dissolved in the molten silica. In terms of the significance of this discovery, scientists have commented on what these findings can tell us. Molten silica can only dissolve water at very high pressures, and when these thresholds are not met, the water separates from the solution forming bubbles. As such, they can determine that it is low pressures beneath volcanoes which cause these bubbles, which in turn can drive volcanic eruptions. From here, the international teams hope to continue their research to better understand how water pressures within silicate solutions can be examined to predict volcanic activity by analyzing triggers to these occurrences. SpaceX Satellites Disrupting Ability to Spot Asteroids Elon Musk's SpaceX satellites are disrupting our human ability to spot asteroids in the night sky. But what's the big deal? The issue is, the asteroids that are being obstructed from viewpoint could be fatal, wreaking havoc on the Earth without us being able to detect them. Astronomers have for a long time now known that our increasing additions of satellites in the skies are making it more and more difficult for them to carry out their observations over recent years. They recently found that SpaceX satellites are blocking their views from screening asteroids which could be headed to our dear planet Earth. Worsening this is SpaceX's plans to launch up to tens of thousands more satellites into space in the near future, having already launched more than 2,000. Commenting on the case, astronomers have said that for now this problem is minor and comparable to difficulties faced during periods of bad weather and visibility. As man-made additions to the cosmos seem to set to increase exponentially in coming years, it could reach a dangerous point quite quickly. This said, SpaceX do seem to be listening to astronomers' concerns. In 2020, the company invested in prototyping and testing sun visors for their satellites to reduce artificially caused sun glare back down to Earth and with fair success. The visors did turn out to be effective, reducing the original brightness levels down to a fifth of what they would have been. While efforts are being made in the right direction, astronomers still worry about the growing magnitude of the problem. 
In 2019, only 0.5 of their asteroid observations were affected by SpaceX satellite's glares, causing streak images. By 2021, this has jumped massively to 20% of images. The satellites themselves are also launched with good intentions, that is to provide faster and better quality Wi-Fi to remote struggling areas. We must question whether these benefits really outweigh the costs of preventing observation of asteroids heading to Earth. Discovery of the rare supernova relic found at the core of the Milky Way Supernovas are stellar explosions which then scatter essential elements back into the galaxy, helping to allow life to continue. There are different types of these explosions and different outcomes in their aftermaths. For example, stellar explosions can be from the collapse of supermassive stars. Ranging down to much smaller entities such as white dwarf stars, explosions of which usually happen after collisions or excess gravitational fields. NASA's Chandra X ray Observer discovered the remains of a supernova in our Milky Way but found that it was a rare type of white dwarf explosion called a Type Lax supernova. It was found near Sagittarius A East, another supernova remnant near the infamous and supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Astronomers emphasize its rarity, going on to say that while type lax supernovas have been found in the universe before, they have never yet found evidence of a single one in our very own galaxy. They hope that having discovered this new one, they will be able to continue to learn more about how white dwarves explode. There are many ways in which white dwarves explode. They are, in short, an essential phenomenon. Their demise releases chromium, iron and nickel into the atmosphere, thus proving to be a crucial source of these needed natural elements. Observations from NASA's Chandra show that the explosion of Sagittarius A East produced different and in fact unusual quantities of these elements when compared to what one would expect from a typical white dwarf explosion. As such, they concluded that this was likely due to it forming a type lax supernova rather than the typical type La seen from white dwarves usually. This rare type Lax supernova found in our Milky Way has encouraged astronomers to keep working on understanding a multitude of types and causes of white dwarf explosions and the different ways they produce these essential elements, says Xing Chi Liung, co-author of the study from the California Institute of Technology. With new and rare discoveries like this being made so close to home, who knows what will come next. From understanding how volcanoes erupt to ensuring the safety of Earth and understanding how essential elements are made, we are still in the process of constantly discovering and learning about things so important to our planet. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.